In this video, I'm going to explain you how we can create a Dropbox clone using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We are going to use Bootstrap which is going to make our lives a whole lot easier while developing our front-end UI. We'll start with creating a development environment, then we'll log into a Linode account so that we can get access to the object storage and then we'll use that storage to create our Dropbox clone. So I hope you are excited. Let's move on to our computer screen. Let's get started. So I'm going to create a folder here. The name of this folder is going to be Dropbox clone so let me call it Dropbox clone so I've created a folder called Dropbox clone here I'm going to open this folder inside of Visual Studio code so if you don't know what VS code is you can use VS code to basically edit code just like you do with other ITEs it's a very simple code editor okay now I'm going to initialize this folder as a node.js project so in order to do that i'll say npm init minus y and i'll get a package.json now i can install node.js packages inside this folder so what i'll do is i'll say npm i express this is the first package which i want to install and also inside of my terminal i'll say npm i minus g node mon make sure you have admin access um, because i don't have it so let me run this command again by writing sudo because this is throwing some error it's saying that you don't have the permission and if you don't have required permission this is not going to work but i want it to work so i simply wrote npm i uh, minus g nodemon so i installed a package the name of the package is nodemon i installed it globally by using the minus g flag now what exactly is nodemon doing here why do we need it i'm going to explain it very very soon but before I do that, I want to create an index.js here. What exactly is this index.js? This is going to be our express server. So let me do one thing. Let me go to the express.js documentation. So I'll say express.js. Let me open express.js, getting started, hello world. And I'll copy this blindly. I'll copy it and I'll run it. And let's see if this starts a server. Now I can go to localhost colon 3000 localhost colon 3000 and i see hello world here which means that my express server is working okay cool uh, i'll simply say localhost colon and i'll also write http uh, why did i do that because if now i run it again i can control click here and i can you know access my localhost colon 3000 this address directly cool so i want an express server which is capable of uploading folders or say files to my object storage. Now, how do I do that? How do I upload files to the Linode object storage? I'm going to walk you through step by step. So let's do one thing before creating the express server and before using Nodemon or anything, let's stop this server. Let's create a file called up.js. It's it'll, it'll basically upload to our Linode object storage and we'll see how we do that. Now, let me explain how this Linode object storage works. We create an object storage and inside of this object storage, we can store our files. Now, let me let me show it to you. Let me create a new bucket. So bucket is basically just like a physical bucket. We can store files inside that bucket. So let me call this bucket as Harry and let me select the region as US Southeast one. You can select any region. Ideally, this should be the closest or the nearest place to your user. Okay, now let's click on create bucket and Harry is created here. Okay, now what I can do is I can open this bucket. I also have a lot of other buckets. As you can see, I have clone, I have Dropbox, Linode, I have Harry, which I just created. I have Harry Drive, I have TTR. I'm going to open Harry. Let me upload a file here. So let me do one thing. Let me upload some file, some random file. Let me up upload this one.pdf. Okay, so I'll basically take this one.pdf and I'll upload it. Let me click on browse files, browse files, and let me upload this one.pdf. I don't know exactly what it is. Let's upload it and let's see if this gets uploaded. So it is being uploaded, and this is basically uh, finished uploading. Okay, so now I can access this file. This is the link to this file. I can go to this link. And as you can see that it says access denied. Why? Why Why is the access denied? Because this file is, I guess, not publicly available. It's private. So let me make it publicly available. Let me 
change the ACL, the access control list to public read. And I can actually read this file now. If I reload, you can see that I can read this file now. So this is some random PDF file, which I downloaded from the internet. Uh, let me close this file. So I can use Linode object storage from my Linode account. But what I want to do is I want to use it in my computer program. Now, a lot of you guys will say that why are we even doing this? Because uh, this is this is very handy, right? Linode dashboard is very handy. We can always come here, we can download it, we can delete it. But I want to teach you how to use Linode object storage to create a service like dropbox.com. Okay, I hope you got the point. So this is going to be the purpose of this video. Let's first create a Node.js file, which is capable of uploading any file to say object storage, uh, object bucket Harry. Okay, I want to upload a file to Linode object storage inside of the bucket Harry. Okay, let's do that. In order to do that, what I'll do is I'll work on this program first. And once I make this program work, then I'll see how to do the same thing using my express server, how I can exactly use this express server to do the same thing. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go to Amazon SDK, Amazon SDK, uh, SDK for JavaScript V3. Simply write this and AWS SDK for JavaScript. You'll see this, but I want to see this page. No, not this page. I think this is the page. I want to go to the home page uh documentation let me also write documentation i want to see the documentation aws sdk javascript documentation there you go so this is the developer guide and they even have a pdf they have html let's go to the html version and let's see how we can get started let's see how we can get started in node.js let's see if we have an example here so we have something called put object command here. So let me copy this and we'll see how we can use this particular file. Okay. To upload a file to a Linode object storage. Linode object storage is an S3 compatible storage, which means that we can use Linode object storage. It is basically using AWS behind the scenes. Uh, it is S3 compatible, which means that we can use all these commands as is with our Linode object storage specifically with our bucket named Harry. Okay. Let me change the name of bucket to Harry and let me change the key to file.txt key means the name of the file. In this case, in the case of my PDF, which I uploaded to Linode, the key is one.pdf. Okay. So key is going to be file.txt file.txt is the file that I want to upload. And I'll say I am file.txt inside of body body means what is the content of the file? So file.txt is the file name and I am file.txt is the content inside of that text file. Okay. Um, cool. So what I want to do is I want to run this and this should be able to upload, uh, upload it to my bucket. But how does it know that it has to upload to Harry, Harry's bucket inside of my Linode account? It has to find my Linode account somewhere, right? It, it needs the auto authentication. So let me run this command. Obviously, I'm going to see an error. But before I fix anything, I'm going to install this. So I'll say npm install this. And this will install AWS SDK client S3. So I'll wait for the installation. And after it installs, we are going to fix some other errors. Next thing which I want to do is, uh, is to create a credential. So I'll say const credential credential is equal to and I'm going to create a credential object which contains access key ID and access secret. Okay, so how do I do that? How do I do that? I'll tell you how to do that. Okay, so the very first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to create a credential. So I'll say credential is equal to I'll say access key ID access key ID and I'll tell you what exactly is an access key ID and what exactly is secret access key. So I'll say secret access key. And if you don't know what, so, so this is an object basically. So I need colon instead of equal to. If you don't know how credentials work in AWS, that's fine. All you need to do is 
plug in your key ID and secret access and you'll be able to upload a file to Linode object storage. So this is something that we need to create. Another thing that we want to create is the S3 client. So I'll say S3 client is equal to and we want to create a new S3 client. So we'll say new S3 client and we, uh, we imported the S3 client from this AWS SDK package. And what we want to do now is we want to create an S3 client and we want to give the credential. Okay, so uh, this is basically a constructor of S3 client and we want to give three things to it. The first one being the endpoint, second one being the region and third one being the credential. So endpoint and we'll, we'll, we'll give the endpoint. Second thing is the region and the third thing is going to be the credential credential it's going to be credentials so the name of our credential is credential okay so let me even call it credentials we can do that okay no worries and in place of the region what is my region for this bucket let me find out region is this particular string us southeast one okay without the dot without the dot so i'll remove the dot and endpoint is going to be uh, Linode this thing I'll, I'll tell you what is what exactly is endpoint this is the endpoint us southeast one dot Linode objects objects.com okay and we need to give it with HTTPS okay so I'll say HTTPS and us southeast one dot Linode objects.com okay so this is our s3 client which is now capable of uploading files to our bucket named Harry. Okay. I hope that makes a lot of sense to all of you. And I hope that you will be able to understand what I'm going to tell you now. Okay. So continuing the story further, let's try to run this program. I'll say node up.js. Let me see if it is uploading the file node up.js node up.js not up.js and it says cannot use import outside a module okay no worries so i need to change my type to module so i'll say type module okay so this is how you fix it and let me put it in double quotes cool now let's try to run this and it says s3 client has already been declared what's wrong what's wrong okay so instead of doing this i'll do this because the place where i copied this code from they already had some file s3 client.js we haven't created this file we directly created it here so no worries now let me try to run it again and i think it is uploading the file it says that undefined undefined there is some error i guess let me see what exactly the error is it says unknown error client http status code 400 code invalid argument request id this attempts one okay so we we haven't yet given access key id and secret access key my bad my bad so what i'll do is i'll open this uh in fact, I don't even have to open this. I can simply go to access keys and I can create a new access key. And I'll say Linode, um, Linode project. The label is Linode project. And I'll create the access key. Using this access key, I can give any program access to this Linode account. And let me copy the access key first and paste it here. So by doing this, I'm giving access to my account basically and this has access to my account now okay i want to delete this part where they are creating an a new bucket because we already have our bucket in place so let's remove this part where this bucket is being created and let's try to, to run this program again see you can create any bucket and you can use any region of your choice what i'm doing is i'm using an existing bucket which i have and the name of this bucket is harry drive and it's an ap south one region rest everything remains the same and i'm uploading the same file here let me run this and the moment i run this you can see that successfully created file.txt and uploaded it to google drive awesome i mean harry drive okay so let's do one thing let's see that if this file exists here so one.txt sorry file.txt yes i'm able to access it what is the acl it's private which means that public cannot access it can we set the acl set acl js s3 AWS. 
okay so how do you set the acl i'll find the command out and the moment i find the command what i'll do is i'll use it i think you can directly set acl by putting it inside of uh inside of params let me see how do we use acl set a new acl uh in put object uh acl let's see if we can give it directly in, uh, so yes you can do something like this and the moment you do this you should be able to read the file okay so let's re-upload it and see if we can read the file so what i'll do now is i will click on this file again and yes it is public read now which means that anybody can access it and yes the content of this file is going to be i am file.txt so cool we are able to upload our file successfully okay let's see if we can delete the file as well so what i'll do is i'll find the command to delete uh, object delete object command okay so if i want to delete an object what i'll do is i'll run the delete object command instead of running the put object command so i'll say delete object command delete object command and let's see if i'm able to delete it it's saying successfully created because we have this written inside of our console log but let's see if this file is deleted or not let me reload this and yes it is deleted awesome awesome guys so we are able to create we are able to delete let's see if i'm able to access all the files inside of a bucket uh, so how do i access all the files inside of a bucket let's find out uh, so I, i'll go to the aws s3 browser examples i'll go to node.js examples and i'll see if i can list the bucket so list list i'll say list Mm, list objects list objects okay let's see if i can list all the objects inside of a bucket okay so list objects in an amazon s3 bucket and this is how you do it so list objects is the command so we'll see if we can find it here so list objects command list objects command it's here and let's see if i'm able to list the objects so what i'll do is instead of deleting this time i'll say list objects command and we are going to print the results okay so we'll say print results and we'll say console.log results okay let's see if we are able to get all the keys so yeah so it says that metadata is this HTTPS status code is this so the thing is that we do not have anything inside of this bucket so let's do one thing let's upload this first so i'm going to upload the file so yes i'm able to upload the file now i'm going to list objects inside of this uh, bucket so let me list the objects inside of this bucket let's see if uh, it's able to list all the objects yes so i found the content so it says contents key is this e tag is this and the storage class is this i'm able to get the uh, owner as well and i'm able to get the content as well which is amazing so we are able to list all the files let's see how do i get the link to a file so in order to get the link to a file all i need to do is let me reload this first and let's see what's the template to get the link to a file the template to get the link to our file looks something like this okay so this is how it looks like so i need to simply punch in the key here and that's the url of our file awesome now we have to put all the things together and our dropbox is ready so let's do one thing let's create some functions uh, let's create some functions uh, inside of this file itself what i'll do is i'll say we have this credential we have this client now i'll create a function i'll say const and upload object is equal to an arrow function so upload object is going to be an arrow function and this is going to take params this is going to take params so it will take some parameters and i'm going to use this particular command i'm going to use this command and this is going to be an async function because we are using a weight inside of that and i'll simply say uh do this okay 
console log this that's it we don't need results simply console log this your object is uploaded thank you if i want to let us say delete an object i'll do exactly the same thing except the fact that i'll say your object is successfully deleted i'll do this okay successfully deleted the object okay awesome instead of using list object command i'm going to use delete object command and instead of using put object command sorry list object command i'm going to use put object command here okay so we have our upload object function ready we have our delete object function ready and now we'll also get a third function ready which is going to be list objects and this is going to be a bit tricky not a lot of uh, tricks are going to get involved in this but it's going to be a bit trickier than these two functions these two functions were very straightforward but this is going to be a little bit more trickier than you might think okay so what we'll do is we'll create a list object functions and we'll give it params and results is equal to list objects command okay list objects command and i'm going to use this template so instead of saying console.log results i'm going to do uh for item of for let item of results for let item of results i'll say console.log and i'm going to use this and i'll say plus results okay let me see if this works i'll say item okay now let's see if this works i'll remove this and let me let me try this list object okay so i'll say list object params instead of running this run command let me comment this and i'll park it here for the time being and later i'm going to delete it okay so i'll say list object and i'm going to say params okay so this is our params let me bring it down let me bring it down here so that we we can see what exactly uh, we are doing so the moment i run it it says that results is not iterable okay no problems no problems i want to see what uh what results look like so i'll say console.log results oops uh instead of doing this i need to do it here console.log results and i need to cut it from here as well because this is not the function which is being executed this is the function which is being executed so i think uh it was results dot content i don't know i forgot okay yes it was result dot contents so inside of the object we have the contents key so i'll say for items for item of results dot contents and and then i need to say item dot item dot key item dot key yes item dot key i think this should list all the urls yes it is listing the urls let me comment this okay let me comment this and see if i'm able to upload some objects and get all of them here so let me run this and see if the the link to the first object is available or not yes it's available let's see if i upload another object here let me upload some more objects here three dot pdf and then let me upload one one dot pdf as well okay so it says that uh, one this file already exists yes please uh, please overwrite it i don't need this file anyway and it is uploaded i guess let me reload and see if it is uploaded or not or rather let me run my command let me run this command and see if uh, i'm getting all these files oh yes i'm getting 3.pdf i'm getting file.txt the plan is working let me open this link and see if i'm able to download it oh no i'm not able to download it my bad what's wrong what's wrong here let's see what's wrong so this ideally should be the link okay this ideally should be the link and what is it showing here harry drive dot ap south one dot linode objects dot com slash three dot pdf the acl looks like is not set correctly so acl is public read uh, okay so while i uploaded the files through linode here i did not update it to public read so i need to update the acl for this link to work for public now the moment the acl is updated 
you can see that I'm able to access this file, which means the APIs are working guys. Congratulations. Our APIs are all set. Now all we need to do is to set up our express server. But before that, I want to be sure if I'm able to upload a file, um, which is binary and, uh, if I'm able to upload it from my file system. So we need to do that first before we jump onto our express server. So let's finish this up.js first and let's make it to upload a binary file from our computer itself. Let's do it guys. So the process is going to be really very straightforward. I'm going to import FS. So I'll say import FS from FS and instead of saying, upload a text i'm going to say upload a body stream so i'll simply say uh, where is my body i'll simply say fs dot i'll say create read stream create read stream and i'm going to give the file name okay let me let me give the file name as uh, one dot pdf and or rather let me call it uh, one dot txt or where is my txt file i'll say file this dot txt okay i'll say file this dot txt and i'll call this file this and i'll i'll simply say file this dot txt here file this is a file okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run list object first but before that i'm going to run upload object with this params and let's run it and let's see if we are able to run it so uh, successfully created file this.txt and let's see if file.txt contains this or not so let me open this file uh, file.txt no it is not yet uploaded i guess file this.txt why is it not showing me file this.txt let me run it. It should show me file this.txt. Yes, it shows me file this.txt. So this is my file this.txt and let me see if I'm able to open this. So file this.txt. Let me open this file and file. This is a file. If, if, if you are confused, do not worry. I'll tell you what to do. Simply open this file from here and you can read it. Okay. Just read it. Just, just double click it and you'll see file this is a file let me also show you that we can in a very similar way upload a binary file so what i'll do is i'll open my downloads and i'll pick a pdf file from here and let me rename this to harry.pdf and let me call this harry.pdf and let me call this harry.pdf as well harry.pdf and the moment I do that and run it, you'll see that we are unable to open harry.pdf. Why so? Why so? Why so? I just uploaded harry.pdf, right? Where is harry.pdf? Okay, I uploaded it at wrong location. Now, if I run it, I should get harry.pdf. So, this is the link to harry.pdf. Let me run it. And this is the link to harry.pdf. The moment I open it, I should be able to download it and I should be able to. Uh, see the PDF after downloading. So this means that this file is getting uploaded to Linode object storage. Now all we need to do is put all these bits and pieces together inside of our Express.js server and also we are going to use bootstrap to make our UI work. So I'll go to go get bootstrap.com. Uh, okay, cool. I'll go to read the docs. Now what I'll do is I'll copy this part, this part. Okay. This is the example template and it has the CDN links. So instead of doing all this, let me delete some files from here. We don't need temp code runner.js. This is automatically generated somehow. And we are going to do some more cleanup. But before that, let me create a file called index.html and let me go to index.js. And instead of doing rest.send hello world, uh, I'll say rents.send file index.html okay but before that i want to ensure that my server works so i'll do nodemon index.js and this will start oops the app got crashed why so why so uh, so it says that require is not defined in es okay so we need to import it like this so import express okay from express and we need to do something like this now, if I run it, does it work? I don't know. 
node mon index dot js it crashed again so express is equal to pkg import pkg from express common js modules can always be imported by the default export i am not sure what's wrong here what's happening so express app is equal to express import express as express uh express common js let me let me google google is my best friend express uh common js uh okay so express es6 sorry not common js es6 i need to import express js using es6 okay so let's see how do we do it uh es6 example import express from express this is how we do it as simple as that so this is how we do it and it should work yes it is working the server is working so hello world works okay this is the basic hello world program this works now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy some of the bootstrap stuff so that it is easier for me to finish all this because i don't want to write a lot of ui here you know it, it gets boring after a point so let's go to navbar navbar components navbar i can see the navbar i'll copy the navbar yes i'll copy this navbar now i'll go to index dot html and i'll copy this navbar i'll paste this navbar here and i will see that this navbar is not appearing here because i have not yet used rest.send file so instead of using rest.send i'll say rest.send file index.html and there is some syntax uh rest.send file and then we need to give it some root i think we need to give it uh the path i don't know man let me google uh how to use rest.send file in express okay this is how you use it okay so i'll go for stack overflow because it will give me the code snippet so you can do something like this or you can do something like this okay this works this will work for sure i'm i know that i've used it in the past so i'll say that the name is this okay and i think i don't even have to do path dot join i can simply say the name and i'll somehow make it work trust me i'll work path is not defined okay no worries import path import path from path and yes please work now the name is not defined why the name is not defined why is the name not defined it should be defined uh, path dot join so it says that uh, unexpected token okay so okay so i i don't have a double quote here let me reload it yeah it works okay as long as it works i don't care okay it works so we have this hello word now i'll say uh dropbox i'll say dropbox and and you can do a lot of things here trust me i'm not doing all those things but you can do a lot of things trust me okay now i need few buttons to upload a file so i'll use a form here i'll say dev dot container i'll say dev dot container and then uh, we'll have a form action is equal to uh, action is equal to slash upload so i'll have all these endpoints and i'll say input file and then we have input submit and name is going to be file id is going to be file and value is going to be submit i'm not going to beautify it just yet because i need to get my apis to work okay so now what i'll do is i'll say app dot post app dot post and i'll say console dot log request okay i'll see what the request is and uh, let me let me send rest dot send done okay now what i'll do is reload it i'll choose a file i'll submit the file it says can't get upload so method should be post so i'll say method is equal to post is equal to post i'm trying to make it as simple as possible as simple as possibly possible okay let me upload this file let me click submit cannot post slash upload 
what's wrong what's wrong i think i forgot to type upload here my bad let me reload and continue done okay let's see what's there in the console did i get the file and how to capture that file and upload to aws uh, linode object storage sorry how to get the file so file where is file response dot file how to get file in uh, as post in express get file in express js okay so file uploading this is how you upload the file so it says that you can uh, use this module and then you can use this and then uh, you can get request.files this is this is very easy this is pretty easy express file upload we are going to use this but i need to use es6 modules so i'll say import express file module but, but before that i need to install it so npm i npm i install this so i'll say uh, import express so i was able to get this to work by doing this import file upload from express file upload and app is equal to express and this let's see if i'm able to get request dot files in the console log let me go back to my app and let me re-upload it and let's see if i'm able to get any file no i'm not able to get any file let's see what's going on here so uh let's see how this works so i i saw a page where it was showing me some examples i'll use those examples so request dot files req dot files dot sample file uh okay so req dot files apparently will have all the files let's see if this is true so uh let me see if i'm able to get all the files up after uploading them let me go back here let me choose a file and let me submit let me see if i'm getting anything no i'm not getting anything uh req dot files has nothing for me another thing that we need to do is we need to change the end type to multi-part form data so this is how you upload uh sorry this is how you import file upload and after you import file upload this is how you use this middleware and now you can access all the files by doing request or files i'll show you how this works so we are going to freshly upload a new file let's say 3.pdf the moment i submit you'll see that i can see this 3.pdf as file so what i can do is i can do request dot files dot what's the name of this uh entry i think it's file so if i do file i should be getting this particular file am i getting this file uh, yes i am i am getting this file so i just said console.log request.files and this is all the file which uh, i am getting okay now i need some way to upload this to my aws so how do i do it i'll simply merge this program or rather what i'll do is i'll import this function uh, upload object where is where is my upload object i'll say import for firstly i'll export import object from here so i'll say uh, export const uh, where is my upload object so i'll say export const upload object now i'll say import upload object from up okay now let's see if i'm able to use this so i'll say upload object so i'll give it give it the file i'll i'll give it this file and i'll say this uh dot files dot file and i'll say dot data okay let me say dot data and let's see if i'm able to upload this file so i'll say request dot files dot file dot name and data and i'll change the upload object function this will take uh, not just the params but it will take the data so i'll say it will take name and the data okay and i'll define the params here so i'll say const params is equal to const params is equal to where is my params these were my params so i'll i'll, I'll give it the names of uh, the bucket and also uh, I'll give it the correct key. So in this case, key is going to be the name and body is going to be the data. Okay. And everything is going to be like this. Uh, 
let me remove this console log statement and now let's see if this works now what i'll do is i'll reload it and i'll simply continue and just crashed actually let me see what went wrong so uh, i think it says that did you mean to import this dot dot slash up dot js yes i mean to upload this dot dot slash up dot js is the server working it's not working so it says that cannot find this module so i'll say up dot js let me see if my server uh, works i don't know so it says that node modules aws sdk let me do one thing uh, instead of doing this let me bring everything here so i'm going to import all these commands all these aws commands here and let me also define my upload object here okay that then uh, you know this is going to be a whole lot easier for me to maintain also so let me uh, see if my server starts yes my server is now starting let me re-upload the file and let's see if the file is being uploaded so uh, s3 client is not defined no worries i'll define the s3 client so i need to i need to copy this also and this is my s3 client now it should work let's see if this works so i'll continue and see if this is uploading so it says successfully created 3.pdf and uploaded it to harry drive 3.pdf let's see if it is uploaded to 3.pdf or not i mean whether it's uploaded to the drive or not so it's created let's see if this works let me see if i'm able to access the pdf okay let's do one thing let's run another test let's uh, upload another file let's see if it's actually working or not so i'll simply put my fiddle.txt and i'll submit so it says done now let's see if fiddle.txt is uploaded or not so yeah fiddle.txt is uploaded let's see what's inside fiddle.txt i am a text file so so this works okay i'm able to upload the file so instead of showing done what i'll do is i'll simply say successfully uploaded file so i'll say successfully uploaded your file and, and i'm not going to show this console log or let it be i'll show it i'll say successfully uploaded your file okay cool so this works awesome awesome now what i'll do is uh while i am running this index.html i'm also going to fetch all the files so i'll say files i need a way to fetch all the files and i need to send them as json json not json and let us say file file I'm just trying this out okay rest app dot get files so if I go to my files endpoint it should show me this okay now instead of showing file file I need to show all the files so in order to get all the files I will use this list object function and I'll paste it here so we have this list object function here and uh we'll use this list object function and uh let's see if i'm able to return uh, all the uh you know links so i'll say let links is equal to an empty array and i'll say links dot push dot push so this will add this link to this links okay i'm pushing all the links one by one okay i hope you got the point and after i exit this for loop i'll return this links array and i'll say links links and i'll call this function list objects list objects list object object or objects i think i should call it objects objects okay and does it need anything it needs params and here is the params let me put params inside of this function okay so uh, we don't need the key or body okay we just need the bucket name that should be it and why did the app crash app crashed what's wrong what's wrong 
so it says index.js line number 38 what's wrong with line number 38 everything looks fine to me mm, acl is this params is equal to this i'm not sure identifier params has already been declared identifier params has already been declared okay so we are already having params somewhere so uh, okay so let me call it params2 params or params with double s um, or we can even you know what we can simply cut it and paste it here as well it, it's fine I mean it doesn't matter okay now the server should start it just got started and let's see if uh, by going to files let me see let links is equal to this and I don't want params okay I don't I don't want to pass params to it because it already has params now if I reload this it should give me all the files it did not give me all the files why did it do that wait so bucket is Harry drive and ACL is this uh, do I need to give a uh, key and body I don't think so I don't think so I need to give key and body mm, but it's not showing me anything why uh, should I say console log results I think I should do that I think I should do that so if I reload it shows me that there is nothing in this drive no no it shows me some files but if I say let item of results dot contents and and then links dot push this it should push this inside the links right and then if I give links here it should show me all the files but it's not showing me all the files what's wrong i need to see what's wrong so contents contents uh, links dot push L let me let me do console dot log links let me see if links is getting populated or not let me see if links are getting populated or not so links are actually getting populated then why are they not visible here what's wrong what's wrong so I'm simply saying a links and then this why is it not showing me all the links so let me see if it's actually returning it console dot log links here instead of here let me do that let me see if uh, this is working fine or not okay so this is a promise so I got it so I need to use async await so let's list objects as an async function I need to await it so I'll say await and I'll say this is an async function as well and now if I reload it gave me all the links awesome so I have a way to get all the links to all the files which I have uploaded I want to display all these links here where here somewhere so I'll use the fetch API uh, I need to get all the files here so let me in a very dirty way write all files and then we are going to style it do not worry about it okay do not worry about styling and all just yet we are going to style it so i'll simply say h2 your files your files and then i'm going to display all the files how do i display all the files uh, i'll say uh, ul and i'll give it an id of or i'll give it a class of files okay and I'm going to add a JavaScript here and I'll say you know what uh, let URL is equal to this and I'm going to fetch this URL for you and I'm going to populate all the files inside this UL so I'll say let a is equal to fetch I'm going to fetch I'm going to use the fetch API and I'm going to await it await fetch this and then let response is equal to await a.json and then i'm going to do console log response before doing anything else let me see what i get in the uh, in the console so let me put it down here and let me click console so we got an error okay no worries no worries so await is only valid for async functions okay no worries uh, what we'll do is we'll create an async function we'll say uh, data is equal to an async function and we'll say async and 
we'll call data okay no worries reload it and yes we got five files so we'll say response dot file okay response dot file now what we want to do is we want to say hey you know what let str is equal to response dot file dot map and uh okay so, so uh we want to use the for each loop and we'll say uh let str is equal to a blank string and we are going to say str is equal to str plus and we are going to say li and inside this li we need to put the uh, ahref so we'll say a a and we'll say response dot okay so we'll say element okay element element and i'm going to use the backtick syntax the good old javascript backtick syntax and dollar now let's see if i can return str or rather if i can say uh you know what document dot uh query selector and i'll say dot file it's files dot files dot inner html is equal to str okay let's see what happens so if i reload this so it says the response is not defined why so why is the response not defined uh, i need to put everything inside of data actually now response should be defined so now if i reload it i see all these links but do i get href is equal to this link or not no i did not so i need to say something like this href is also equal to the same thing this this link okay so href is equal to this now i can actually get this as links so i can open 3.pdf i can open fiddle.txt i can download file.txt file this.txt and i can also download harry.pdf okay this is how this works okay i hope that this was very helpful now let's do one more thing let's try to upload another file and let's see if it appears here so if i upload blog 1.zip so it says successfully uploaded your file and block one dot zip is here so this is a very dirty google drive we need to fix it so i'm going to i'm going to make very minor fixes to this and i'll leave everything else to you i know that i can make it really very beautiful but i don't want to make this video very lengthy all i want to do is i want to give margin y of um, just a moment let me see if i can put it inside another container or something so if i put this inside another container it it should it should improve it div dot container and also let me give it a margin y of four this should this should improve the overall structure of this and also let me give it margin y of four and padding y of four as well so we have some spacing above choose file as well and also i'll give another heading i'll say h2 and I'll say upload a file I'll say welcome to Dropbox upload a file cool so welcome to Dropbox upload a file and class is equal to my2 so that we have some spacing above this welcome to Dropbox title let me make it forward so that it looks even more better I think this looks even more cleaner yes it does so welcome to dropbox upload a file let me make it mb instead of my yes yes this this looks cleaner now welcome to dropbox upload a file we can upload a file here one dot pdf okay so your file is uploaded successfully uploaded file cool so this works okay so i hope that this tutorial was helpful and if you enjoyed it make sure that you create a linode and try this out for yourself uh, if you don't know you can sign up on linode and you can get a hundred dollar 60 day credit and that credit will help you do whatever i did in this video and this doesn't look very very good from 
UI point of view, but uh, I want all of you to create your own version of this and implement features like search, implement features like delete. We already have the delete function. I want you to implement features like delete, delete this file or something, and it should be able to delete the uh, file. Uh, you can have a delete button here and if you click that delete button it should delete that file so i hope that this tutorial was helpful and uh, if it was make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, i will see you in another video thank you so much guys for watching this video and have a great day ahead.